Welcome back. Now, the upper house of the Namibian parliament, that's the National Assembly, will celebrate Commonwealth Day later today. The theme this year is delivering a common future, connecting, innovating and transforming. Now, with more details on this, I'm joined by Dr. Modestus Francis Kipilimba, who is the High Commissioner of the United Republic of Tanzania, as well as Kherson, that is Oaripi Shihenuna, who is the Director to the Speaker's Office. Very good morning and thank you so much for being here this morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Your Excellency, is it appropriate to say welcome to Namibia? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> well, I've been here for something like a month now. Okay. Yeah. And how are you finding the country? Wonderful. Fantastic. Very That's nice. good to hear. That's yeah. good to hear. Uh, Mr. Shiruna, very good morning to you. Thank good you for morning. being here this morning. And good morning, yeah. viewers. What would you say is, you know, the importance of uh, the Commonwealth and, of course, being a member of the Commonwealth as we celebrate Commonwealth Day today? Well, I think Commonwealth is, is very important. It's a, a family of... Uh, some 54 yes. nations, uh, comprising of about 2.4 uh, billion mm -hmm. uh, people across all the continents. And it started way back, I think, in 1931. Mm -hmm. uh, and these are countries that uh, share um, common history, common culture, uh, um, we are involved in, in trade and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So it's a very common, very important platform because uh, we come together every year, especially in the second week of, uh, of March, to, yeah. to share ideas, to, to chat the way forward and so on. Yeah. So it's, it's very important. And, and looking at, you know, since the establishment of, of this organization and, mm -hmm. and looking at the amount of members it has and also just the name of this organization, which is, of course, the Commonwealth, mm -hmm. um, are we getting there in terms of having a Commonwealth? Well, uh, I can speak on behalf of Namibia, yes. mm -hmm. certainly. Uh, as you would know, um, our parliament is a member of the um, Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, yes. full member, and we uh, meet from time to time to deliberate on issues of common interest and so on. And as I remember way back in 2018, uh, our members of parliament uh, received training through uh, uh, this organization to empower them in terms of how to interrogate the budget, mm -hmm. how to influence the budgetary process, budgetary process which is a very important uh, function in this. Because you cannot uh, talk about oversight of parliament if the parliament cannot influence the budgetary process. Yes. And uh, we really uh, benefit from that. And also, I'm sure you know about the, the Procurement Act and the regulations. Mm -hmm. These were put in place with the support of uh, the Commonwealth. Yeah. The Namibia Youth uh, um, Credit Scheme, uh, which, uh, through which uh, I think that was done under the Youth National Council. And uh, to the best of my regulations, um, 10,000 young people went through that program mm -hmm. and 8,000 of them ended up uh, starting their own businesses. Oh. And uh, the Commonwealth was also involved in uh, gender responsive budgeting, in other words, to see to it that uh, all the pieces of legislation that come to the House uh, will have, uh, will take gender mainstreaming into account. Mm -hmm. And again, also, the National Commission uh, on Science, Research and Technology was set up with uh, the assistance of the Commonwealth. So, so we have definitely, been quite, it's yeah. been very crucial yeah. for yeah. Namibia. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Kipilimba, perhaps yes, yes. From, you can give us a perspective from the Tanzanian um, point of view, considering that Tanzania has been you know, a member of the Commonwealth since you attained independence in 1961, yes? Yes. Yeah. How has this benefited your country specifically? Mm, again, it, it mm. has benefited our country very much. Uh, we've been sharing and we've been receiving a lot of technical assistance from the Commonwealth Secretariat in London. Uh, for example, in terms of external debt management, they assisted us with assisting when they trained our people yeah. to manage it very properly. We are participating in all activities related to the Commonwealth, mm -hmm. in terms of sports, as you know, there are Commonwealth games yes. happening here and there. And in all issues related to promotion of those core values, mm -hmm. like uh, good governance, yes. democracy, and also joining in influencing issues. For example, during those days of apartheid, mm -hmm. we were really at the forefront, and the Commonwealth accepted yes. our advice they decided during those 1961, actually, they, they suspended membership of those apartheid, those people who the government that was 
land about yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, for now, actually, we are looking more in issues related to governance, democracy, econo economic issues, yes. because you know it's a big community. Really, it it comprises nearly thirty percent of the whole world population. Exactly, thirty yeah. percent. So it's a very very important community. Yes, and nowadays, actually, even people who do not have a history of being members of British Empire, they uphold the values of Commonwealth. Right. Countries like Mozambique has joined, and uh, even Rwanda, Rwanda as well. hey, has joined, although they don't have a history of being part of the British, British Empire. Empire. Yeah. So this is very, very important uh, community. Yeah. And I also like to speak on uh, very important developments with regards to Namibia and Tanzania, of course, um, having established an embassy here in the country. Yes. Uh, very important initiative indeed. Tell mm -hmm. us, what is the latest with regards to this embassy? And moreover, um, how would you describe relations between Namibia and Tanzania at present? Yeah. Oh, I'm really, really happy. And even today, I presented my credentials to His Excellency. Mm -hmm. Uh, I say this because, you know, our relationship is wonderful since independence. Yes. You know our history we stood together during freedom fighting. Very much. And then we are together even today and uh, our relations are excellent. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we thought we have to change is the presence, our physical presence in, in Namibia yes. in order to cut expenses for people traveling to Pretoria mm -hmm. and also to expedite things. Yes. So here... What I, we really intend is to improve efficiency and effectiveness of all services we give to both Namibians and Tanzanians. Okay. Uh, what we want really is to facilitate Namibians, to exploit opportunities in Tanzania, mm -hmm. and to facilitate, to facilitate Tanzanians yes. also to, to, to exploit opportunities here. Namibia, yeah. uh, that is my priority, to make sure that we go together economically. We fought together during the yes. freedom fighting, but we're now we need to fight we're together we're uh, in the economic uh, freeing yes. ourselves from economic challenges. Very much so. uh, yeah. yep. Taking a look at uh, Commonwealth Day, um, and the theme particularly is uh, delivering a common future, connecting, innovating, and transforming. From the Namibian National Assembly's perspective, what does this theme uh, mean to you, sir? Well, I, th I think um, the, the, some of the core values that we uh, uh, need to uh, focus on is uh, the protection of our natural resources uh, um, and the promotion of trade between the Commonwealth member countries. Yes. And as you would recall, uh, now especially after Brexit, uh, I'm sure Britain would be more eager to, to, to strengthen the ties between herself and, and the uh, Commonwealth countries. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sure uh, I, it's not up to me to give any valid judgment whether Brexit was a good thing or bad thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure uh, um, after that event, uh, Britain will now be more actively involved in the activities of the Commonwealth because it's, uh, we all stand to benefit. Yes. But I think it's very important to underline that uh, as members of the Commonwealth, we are sovereign and equal states. We, we, we do things on equal terms, and uh, there are no uh, legal obligations between the members. It's, it's like a voluntary association, actually. Yeah. But the most important thing is to promote understanding and trade between the peoples of the Commonwealth countries. Very much so. mm. Dr. Kipilimba, I'm sure you share those sentiments as well yes. in terms of the theme and, of course, uh, the agenda of the Commonwealth as well, yes. yes, yes. Yeah. What is Tanzania's perspective, uh, perhaps, on, on you know, the recent developments with regards to Brexit? Yeah. yeah. We see this to be an opportunity for, to all members of Commonwealth. Actually, we have a long history with the UK itself, but obviously being uh, during the time when they were really involved in the European Union, yeah. I saw the strength went over there more. But now I think the time has come to come back home and work together so that we can grow together and have a future, a common future, a common future. economically, socially, and in all aspects. Yeah. Yeah, that is the thing. We take it positive. Uh, we know that now the uh, UK will concentrate with the Commonwealth more because now they've been relieved with their obligations in the uh, EU. European uh, EU. Very much so. yeah. Looking at the commemoration of the day, um, how will this day be observed here in Namibia? Yeah, the event will uh, be held in front of Parliament mm -hmm. uh, starting uh, at 11.30 and will end around uh, um, one o'clock. Uh, every 
uh, mission that is resident in, in Vendu will uh, bring their cuisine. Mm -hmm. And after the event, we'll share that with them. We'll also bring our own national cuisine. And uh, some 40 school kids are also invited, have also been invited. They are going to uh, perform there, some cultural performances and, and songs. And this time around, uh, uh, importance or preference has been given to children with disabilities and, uh, and their orphans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have heard about maybe 40 or, or 50 school kids as well. Fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dr. Kipilimba, any final remarks from you this morning before we let you go? Um, just in terms of, you know, strengthening relations between Namibia and Tanzania, yes. your operations uh, at the embassy, and of course your message on this Commonwealth Day. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Officer, something I, I would like first to add on top of what he said. Mm -hmm. Also, we are going to hear the official message from Her Majesty, yeah. mm -hmm. the Queen. Mm -hmm. Uh, that will be more thrilling and mm -hmm. it will give us also a direction on how we should go on. Mm -hmm. Our relationship between Tanzania and Namibia, I believe, is going now to another level. We had uh, the so-called JPC Joint Permanent Commission. We discussed a number of things. We deliberated. And now what we are doing really is to follow up to make sure that all those plans are uh, turned into reality. Yeah. Uh, we want to improve trade between our countries and also to improve investment. Yeah. Uh, so I'm very, very optimistic. I believe now we are going at a higher speed than before. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here this morning and all the best uh, with the day's commemorations here. Yeah. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you very much. There you have it. That was uh, Mr. Kherson Waripi Shihanuna, who is the director to the Speaker's office, as well as uh, Dr. Modestus Francis Kipilimba, who is the High Commissioner of the United Republic of Tanzania to Namibia, just talking to us this morning about Commonwealth Day, also looking at the Commonwealth, which is, of course, an international body comprising of some 54 states with a joint, that is, a population of some 2.4 billion people, and projections show that um, this combined wealth of these 54 nations um, runs in the area of some 13 trillion U.S. dollars. Now, of course, they look to aim uh, to, to, to develop, that is, development, um, democracy, as well as peace and stability with regards to these 54 nations. Do stick around. We discuss